still be a positive influence. Marines will be less exposed and some hope that a UN peacekeeping force can be moved into the Beirut area. And uh, just to refresh your memories, uh, since some of the press seem to be implying that that somehow is contrary to our wishes, no, that's what we would have liked from the first, but we couldn't get because of Russian vetoes and Syrian objections. We don't have to apologize for our policies there. I think the American people will come to understand and appreciate that we've made every effort to allow the legitimate government there a chance to bring about a peaceful reconciliation. And I am not going, not going to at any time regret that we took the lead in trying to bring about peace in that very troubled area. And I think we're having quite some success, but I'm going to turn to Cap now to report on what's going on. President, members, the uh, General status uh, in Beirut at uh, 3 a.m. our time this morning was that the Marine positions were quiet. Uh, there was firing along. Okay. Happy to see you again. Really, Good you're to see looking you. great. Great things happening. This is Mayor Hello. 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 Father Molinaro, Superior of the Basilica of St. Francis. Father Jura. And Mr. Penal. Mr. President, this Franciscan delegation from Assisi comes to you because they know, Mr. President, that you are a man of peace with strong religious feelings. This is the motive which inspired their visit to you. I'm very honored to have you here. I can assure you that stability and peace in the world is, I think, the greatest goal of my administration, my term in office here, and what I would like to accomplish. So I'm very honored to have your presence in. Let me also add that with the new regime in the Soviet Union, we've made it very plain we're ready to negotiate with them along these lines and to help bring this about. I think more than anyone else, our two countries are the ones that can bring it about if we can resolve our, our differences. And we want to do that. Mr. President, the Italian government support all initiatives, as you do, aimed at strengthening peace and security in the, in the world. And we hope that conditions will make it possible for you to hold the summit meeting with your Soviet counterpart to strengthen this peace well, and this the security. This is very world. much in our mind. Sure. What other place better than Assisi, St. Francis, the yes. patron of state of peace, really? I like, yes. sir, I am Luigi. I like to inform you that in Assisi you've got this uh, international center of peace uh, among the people. and. Uh, on behalf of everybody, we are so happy today to be with you and uh, to talk with you. And uh, Mr. Gianfranco Costa, the mayor, I'd like to see you something together with the father. Signor Presidente, con grande piacere e con grande onore e con emozione, perché anche dall'Italia seguiamo in maniera appassionata quello che lei sta facendo. It's a great peace and a great honor for us to come here because in Italy we follow with great attention all your generous efforts for the consolidation of peace. La guardiamo con grande simpatia e con grande amicizia. 
per le prospettive di tutti gli uomini attraverso la sua azione e per una vicenda umana che da Assisi ecco, le affidiamo in un messaggio che si muove nel nome di San Francesco di Assisi e che la invita, ritenendo Assisi la sua casa, possibilmente a venire ad Assisi e anche con il presidente Cernienko. We follow you in Italy with great uh, respect and friendship and admiration and we bring to you this message from Assisi in the spirit of St. Francis hoping that you one, one day you may come to Assisi and perhaps meet there in Assisi with the Soviet leader in the spirit of peace. And Assisi is la vostra casa. Assisi is a, your, your home. 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 Assisi is your home. <laughs> Please come and visit. Thank you. You know, like that very much. Grazie. Well, I am very honored to have this, to receive this, and I shall try to be deserving of it. I colori rosso blu, che sono come quelli della bandiera americana, sono i colori di Assisi. The colors red and blue, which are the colors of the American flag, are the same colors of the city of Assisi. Well, <laughs> this is the bread, the pukleus, uh, made by hand for you. And on our message, we, we say that if some people may eat the same bread, they will be friends. And they will maybe make new politics for the peace of the world. And they made this for you, and from a season from the poor place who are praying and said to us, we are coming with you, praying. I tell the president, if he eat bread with some others, he will be friend with them and he may, can make a lot of good politics. Well, thank you very much. And please thank all those others who had anything to do with this. I appreciate this very much. In behavior of what uh, our general chapter did last year, they invited uh, officially your, uh, your uh, president and also Gianniaco, we come to uh, give uh, the Francis peace to you, to your family, to your nation. And also, uh, we are, like to say that this is a special place where people can meet each other and talk or find solutions for, for peace. This is our wish and also we pray that that can be uh, your goal as soon as you, you can. This is, uh, This comes from an olive tree, Mr. President, uh, that grew in the olive courtyard tree. of the Basilica of the Basilica. Basilica. Olives is a tree for peace. This is the medal of the town of Assisi. Well, thank you very much. It is a small book of the flowers, little flowers of the St. Francis life. Well, well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for everything. I'm humbled I am a desirous of Mr. President, I have something different. The poor clears of Assisi, they sent to your wife a special rose, the famous rose of St. Francis. These are the rose, this is the gift for your wife, together with the nice prayer inside. And together with the one prayer, wrote by the hands, by hands, by the sister. Well, thank you very much. I will have to wait until tomorrow to do this because uh, they have sent her up to New York today on, a, it's okay. on an errand up there, but I will present this to her when she comes home tomorrow. As I understand, the rose was growing right, uh, right where the area where St. Francis meditated. In the, in the, the, God, the, the Sisters of St. Clara, which of course is, was the cohort and partner of St. Francis, were the ones that wrote this beautiful prayer here. Oh, this Mr. Press, yes. Mr. President, this is the plaque we have and we give to, to you and maybe to some others. Thank That's you. The most about peace. Thank you very much. Perhaps well, oppose one no. the president in the middle of the city. It's, sure. uh, it's really Thank full you. of mysticism and uh, an incredible beauty. It really comes to us straight from the Middle Ages, from the time of San Francis. Well, and I 
think your suggestion there about a proper place for a, a meeting in regard to peace. Uh, I'm we not quite will, sure that the we will try this. I said in our small, <laughs> we will do our best. Anyway, the Basilica of Saint Francis is at the tomb where it come. It's under the jurisdiction of the Pope. He visits you very, very much because we've been there before. Uh, yes, from, yes. From the state. Well, I am a great so, there's a many popes make a retreat there to Saint Francis. I mean, they go up there. Saint, Saint John, particularly, you know, the great Saint. I mean, Father uh, Pope John, twenty third. He's been there several times, even before his, he presented his, his encyclicals. He prayed and, retreat, and had retreats there. So it's a great place to be, incidentally. It's a, it's a, my parents came just about eight or nine miles from, from uh, Assisi, so I'm very proud of that. Umbria. Umbria. Yes. Yes. And also, also come to Umbria. Right. Right. We hope to, to see you there again there, together with the... the well, I'm <laughs> I would. Even if you are like the weekend. Your generosity is fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you all. Thank you, Mr. President. On a more thank secular you. ground, maybe the Olympic Games in Los Angeles will provide you with an opportunity to invite uh, your Soviet counterpart to some kind of peace manifestation. Mm -hmm. That could also be less inspiring, but. Uh, also very concrete. Well, mm -hmm. let me talk to our people about that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, Thank you, sir. The Olympics were born in the spirit of peace. In fact, it's, it's a manifestation of peace, yeah. and it could be an idea. Well, again, I thank you all very much. Thank you very much for receiving us. We well, appreciate it. It's my honor. Thank you very much. I'm greatly honored. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> My very best regards to Mr. Fagan. Good night, Goodbye. Good I interrupt someone. I always do. Say, wait a minute, I think before we get into anything substantive, I think we're going to be covered by the uh, photographic opportunity for the press. So we'll just have to look like we're discussing serious things. <laughs> 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 Things when we were growing up. We invented them. 
<laughs> Mr. President, the speaker says that your version of the budget meeting is totally untrue. You want to discipline him? You're going to talk about discipline today. You got anything in mind for him? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Privilege of saying what we were young ministers don't ever trust anybody over 30. A letter on his 30th birthday. <laughs> Somebody is alert enough to call my attention to that, so we have congratulated him on reaching the age of 30. <laughs> They know the rules say there's no questions. Uh, photo opportunity. I always break them. Yeah. Well, Mr. President uh, and Mr. Vice President, we appreciate your uh, being here also. Uh, since your uh, decision to accept the report of the working group, uh, Mr. President, uh, early this year on uh, school uh, discipline, uh, quite a bit has been happening since then, and we wanted to just uh, uh, review that a bit with you and maybe uh, have an opportunity to have a, a conversation here with this group. First of all, there have been hearings in the, uh, in the House and the Senate, and uh, out of those hearings have emerged a general agreement uh, that uh, we need to be uh, doing more to uh, uh, solve the problems of, of discipline in our schools. Indeed, until we do that, uh, we're not going to attain the levels of excellence that, that we're trying to, to reach in this country. And I'd also like to tell you that the uh, response of the uh, uh, secondary school principals to your uh, fine address out in Las Vegas, and incidentally, I think it's the, the warmest uh, uh, response that, uh, that uh, at least in my long years in education, that a president has had on an address in education. I was really thrilled with the, uh, with the response there of those, uh, of those uh, principles. And uh, because of that and the extensive uh, uh, outreach of that address out to all over the country, uh, I think we find uh, large numbers of people in the uh, school community and parents and others that are anxious to be uh, uh, helping us in, uh, in improving uh, in this, uh, in this uh, area of the problem. And uh, we're receiving uh, almost every day uh, uh, letters and phone calls from parents and educators and others uh, asking how we can help and urging you to continue to focus attention upon this uh, uh, problem. Well, all of that is a prelude to say that uh, we wanted to uh, bring together this uh, group uh, this morning, a group that's keenly interested in this uh, subject, and to uh, have an opportunity for them to to meet you and uh, to hear some, uh, some uh, comments that you might want to make and for them to express themselves uh, uh, briefly. And uh, so we won't uh, use too much time. I understand we need to be through here about 20 past. I'll invite to my colleagues starting on my right, if, if it's okay, Mr. President, to introduce themselves. My name is Joe Clark, principal of Patterson East, Patterson East High School, Patterson, New Jersey. Joan Perry, president of the National School Board. 